there, boys and girls. Here we are. We're out the, out the sticks, uh, Um This Mother's Day tomorrow, and of course, it's a four day holiday. And one of the things we've been looking at doing is getting Mum one of these little scooters, but uh, the two wheel scooters just don't do the job. So, three wheel scooters are what we're looking for because Mum's getting old and she's finding balance a bit of a difficult thing to do for her. So, Chan just managed to find uh, a location out here that has some pretty good pricing and somebody they said would deliver tomorrow. I was looking on Lazada and um, they had a number of different people doing the similar type of units on Lazada. Um, but unfortunately, sort of, those sort of products when you're buying on Lazada can be a little bit tricky, you know, when you, you know, are you going to get what was ordered and, you know, uh, what's your after sales service? At least when you buy something from a shop like this, <laughs> you're going to rock back up the door and say, hey, what did you do? <laughs> you broke something or the thing's broken. Uh, can you fix it? Um, I don't, I don't know how registration works as well. But, uh, Sandra's going to do the looking. She knows what mum's looking for. That's the main thing. We looked at some yesterday uh, in Om Yai, at one of the shops there, but they only had one style, which was more like, um, I can't really tell, I think it was like this one here. Um, but uh, again, they wanted 21000 for it, and I thought that's a bit on the steep side, considering I know you can, they, they run in around at 15 if you look carefully. Um, so that's what we're looking at paying. So you're saying that this lion one here is 17,000. Uh, that's a sort of a, a good starting point. At least it's not 21. Mother's biggest problem when she bought this, when we got the scooter for her, she couldn't touch the ground when she sat on it. Uh, and that's one of the things for balance. But at least with the three wheel, you don't have to worry about the balance. That's the main thing. I don't know, darling. It's up to you. What do you think? So the shop we were at yesterday was pretty big, but didn't have anywhere near this range. So. Looks like this shop specialises in bikes. <laughs> um, it's, obviously, it's a good thing, I guess. Yeah, just something uh, clearing things up in the conversation process. Yes, we did buy Mum the, the uh, Fino uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, well, that was the intention for Mother's Day was to buy her the Fino. Um, you know how it goes. Uh, we got her home and uh, she just tells us she couldn't. Well, she, she rode it once, uh, but she says felt unsafe because she couldn't put her foot down when she's sitting on the seat, you know, because it does ride fairly high. It's okay for us and me and Shanda, but, you know, Shanda's mum's a shorty, so um, you know, she couldn't touch the ground, so she felt uncomfortable. At least with something like this with the three wheels, um, you know, it gives us a balance, especially getting out of our Mubarn, which is a sort of really steep uh, entry into the Mubarn as well. And I even feel uncomfortable on the scooter going down that, uh, let alone somebody who has a balance problem. But it's just, it's a good third degree slope. You don't need exhaust pipes that loud, seriously. And what do you think about this one, darling? What do you think? Hmm? Okay, so you might be wondering why we're going to the trouble of getting a scooter as well. Um, major reason is mum's sort of like uh, at that sort of age where she doesn't have a car, she doesn't have a license, she doesn't have anything. Uh, she used to have the other Fino, um, but we moved the other Fino up to Sukhothai, which is required more up there. She's got fairly things, fairly local, so it's not a big deal. But like an example, yesterday, or yesterday the day before, she, um, she ordered something from a local shop. We then brought it around maybe sort of, you know, 30 minutes later as per, you know, the delivery. Um, you know, they just deliver them by hand, but he probably does a whole bunch of deliveries. Right, she got the stuff inside, checked the bag, and half the stuff was missing. Right, now, normally you just go and, you know, wave the guy down, but he's like, he lives two kilometres away. So, oh, maybe lie, maybe lie. You're not going to come back just for the, for the bag. And you just let it go. You know, that, that sort of thing is inconvenient. Whereas if she had a scooter, uh, yeah, uh, she could have jumped on the scooter and ridden back there and got the other stuff. Or she could have done the shopping herself at the location rather than pay a little bit extra for the for the um, delivery fees. I have no idea what these things cost to charge up, but uh, we'll soon find out, I guess. But what he's just saying there is the fact that you get, uh, on a full charge, you get about 35 to 40 kilometers on them. Um, 
they use a standard lead acid battery like you use in the normal cars. Right, right there, showing, the, showing us the batteries now. So, you know, after two years, the, the warranty on the batteries goes down. And how many batteries you have in here? Uh, four, okay, so they're like uh, large 12 volt batteries, like a deep charge, and there's four of them, okay. Not good. So here's the rundown on the official laws of uh, uh, how, how they work. So it does about 30 kilometers an hour on average uh, maximum speed, which I suppose is serviceable, getting point A to point B. Um, uh, for where we are, there'll be no need for uh, registration on the road. Um, but uh, if you were to ride these things on the main roads, yes, there would be a problem, you know. That's the way it works over here. <laughs> oh, they even have alarm system running. That's pretty neat. Oh my God. <laughs> well, I do think that uh, we're going to give Mother a few more years of some sort of mobility around the place. just makes life a bit easier for her. <laughs> so I'm quite happy with that. Anyway, uh, we're going to pick it up. We're going to do the whole pay for it now and have them deliver it tomorrow. So, um, I suppose we'll just take a little interlude and <laughs> we'll see you when we get it delivered tomorrow. Sometimes the uh, speed that things happen around here in Thailand can quite amaze you. So we bought this three hours ago. This guy's driven, you know, like a, well, 50 kilometers with the ute to bring this thing here. Oh my God. My mum doesn't know yet. You've got to get it out of here as well. Oh my God. Come now, man. Come now, man. Surprise for you. Oh, oh, <laughs> what she says. Here's a special charge you got to plug in to plug the car up. Plug it in to get it all charged up. Good, good, good. Oh, it's a plug in spot there. Okay, right now. Got the little readout, got the battery levels, and everything else. All good, good. It just looks like it was made for her. It's got forward and reverse. So she can work that out, of course. They sort of have three speeds as well. Okay. There you go. Turn around, yes. Oh, yeah. More, more. Turn more. She needs to get a... Yeah. See, so she's in, she was in third gear, so first gear makes better than third gear. There you go. <laughs> now, now Shanya's going to teach her a little bit. She's, she's a bit, a bit rough. <laughs> she hasn't ridden a bike for quite a while as well. She's take a bit of getting used to, but she'll be okay. <laughs> a little bit bouncy there, yep. Make sure you turn. Turn and steer, turn and steer. It's all good. Once you get used to them, they're quite manoeuvrable. It's got a foot brake and uh, two hand brakes on the handlebars. <laughs> now nah, she's getting the hang of it. As for the, we said about the registration before, it's only going to be used in the Moo Barn around here and there's a little shop just down the way about maybe uh, 700 yards down that way she goes to on a regular basis and of course uh, one and a half kilometres up the road here along the Klong there uh, up the end is our is our market our big C uh, market or mini market sort of it's not a big C mini but it's a in between a, a normal regular big C and a mini mart it's sort of a halfway it's called a big C market um, and she goes up there regularly. It's just going to make life a little bit easier for her um, in our little uh, neck of the woods. So, yeah, as I said, as long as you don't hit anybody, <laughs> you're going to be pretty well okay. You okay? Well, it works. Hi. Yes. I think the, the brakes need a bit of adjustment, but we can do that later on. Okay, we go inside. Yeah, yeah, but I want to try some more. So provided the little gauge on the speedo sort of was accurate. Um, just taking it for that ride there. In the first gear you get zero to twenty kilometers an hour. When you put it into third gear you'll get zero to thirty-five kilometers an hour. Um, I don't think it'll go actually over over thirty-five. But, uh, but uh, yeah. 
gets around. Yeah. Basic walking, that's just certain. What do you think, darling? I think okay, but mum's scared. That's no, okay, she needs to practice. Yeah, she, she has to try. She managed all right on the oh, old Fino, you know, backwards and forwards, but uh, again. You know, <laughs> she was pretty uncomfortable on that one initially as well, but hey, such is life. Little honey, they, 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 balancing, that's what we're going to do. Sit up and away you go. I think she's okay. She's got to practice. Just go slow. Break this one, yeah. You learn to use the left hand for the break, or the right hand for the break. Left hand's rear break, they don't slow you down as much. Here comes the Hells Angels. Oh my god. Gotta get in home, this is about ready to shit down here. Look at, the, look at those grey clouds coming across. Time to get inside. The driveway's wide enough, she should be able to get it in and out there without too much trouble. <laughs> Once she gets a bit of practice. I don't know. What's she doing? <laughs> you and me go everywhere. <laughs> what? Oh, oh. <laughs> Ah. Ah, God. <laughs> ah, God. Ooh. Where you go? You turn now. Oh, my God. Have to you turn. Oh. <laughs> Okay, May, what do you think? Okay. You know Hell's Angel? Get your leather jacket, everything. Leather jacket, helmet, and oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as I said, the rain's just about to start, so here we go. Back inside. Bye for now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Mum's happy. <laughs> I think she's a bit surprised. I, I want you to live.